Hey Budget Fam, it's Jordan from Jordan Budgets. Today we are doing a little bit of a throwback to grocery haul days. I have not want, done one of these lately, but I wanted to do a quick $120 grocery haul with you guys. And then I want to share with you guys how I'm stockpiling. You can see, ooh, ignore the messy table. That is one of the places where I am starting to stockpile things. So after we go through this quick grocery haul, we are going to talk about what I'm stockpiling what's over there, where I'm stashing food, and all of the things. So starting here, I did get two of these Greenfield Natural Meat Company. It's Uncured Ham and Cheese Lunch Kit. My, my kids are no longer a fan of Lunchables. I can't say that I blamed them. We did get Lunchables for a while while they were enjoying them, but they don't like the way that the meat tastes, and so I thought this would be a nice little kit to try. I know this is more expensive than putting something like this together yourself, but sometimes I'm really crunched for time and I'm really just trying to get away from fast food. So this has ham, cheese, crackers, and then those little bear cookies. I have two of these. I think my younger son will love these. And then these two kits are for my older son. He really likes broccoli and carrots and cheese. I don't know if he's gonna love the almonds. I have two of those kits and two of those kits. This is another one of those purchases just for convenience. It's the Uncrustables. It's the 10 pack. Only my older son eats these. So this should last us for a few weeks. But when we are in a pinch and we need something, that is worth having around the house in my opinion. The other fast food sort of convenience item we have is for me. I'm normally very picky about canned food and frozen food. This El Monterey brand is where it's at. I only like the beef and bean green chili one though. It has a bit of spice to it. I don't know why, but that one's my absolute favorite and the only one that I will grab. Moving over to quick snacks, but trying to get away from like the straight sugar of cereals and things is I got some of these Fig Newtons. I think my kids will like them. If not, there's a ton of them. I guess I will be eating them. I do like those. And then I have some of these Natural Valley oatmeal squares. We really like the regular, I'm saying regular one because that's what I grew up, but like the more hard granola ones, but these are the soft squares. I know they're gonna love these. These are a bit more expensive, but they really enjoy them. Then we have some of this Baby Bell cheese. My older son loves these and so do I. I picked up some peanut butter. I picked up the, peanut, the Peter Pan brand. If you have not been keeping an eye on things, just know that Jif has recalled a lot of them. I had, we had eaten on it and we've been fine, but I don't know, it still sketched me out. So I just ditched the one that we had and got a brand new pack. Then we have some grated Parmesan. We have some of this in the fridge. I just like to stock up on things when I can. I did get this large bag of sharp cheddar and then I have four of these biscuit mixes. This is one of my favorite things. It's the Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuit Mix. It calls for water, cheese, and then the, the biscuit mix. So there's not too many things that you really need. I think you also need butter for the, the like butter sauce that goes on top of it. But it is a pretty simple bread that I love and my older son loves as well. Next, we have a bag of gala apples. Gala apples, gala apples. I hope I'm saying that right. And the only other thing that is over here is we have some bananas. We go through bananas pretty quickly. It's mostly my younger son that eats them, but he really enjoys them, so I like to have those on hand. Moving over here, we just have about, I think we have eight waters. Eight waters. They, I do have different brands up here only because I typically get this brand, but it has been going up five to 10 cents every month or two. And it's like at $1.40 right now. And about a year ago, it was at 88 cents and then 98 cents. So I did get some of this Pure Life. I'd like to try out this brand, see if we like it. It should be fine. I mean, water is water, but Dasani water gives me heartburn. So now I'm leery of all bottled waters. And I know this this brand is fine for me, so I'm scared to change. But we are we did get some. We're gonna try these and see how we like them. And then I just have one gallon of whole milk. My sons really love milk, so we have that on hand. We have these disgusting Vienna sausages. My sons love Vienna sausages, so that's something we have on hand for a quick snack whenever they're wanting it. I absolutely despise them, but they like them, so I like to keep them on hand. I do have 80-20 ground beef chuck. I love making a taco soup, which I guess will segue into all of these beans over here. I am going to make a huge pot of taco soup this week because I love to have 
big batches and freeze them. I won't be using like all of it for that, but that's why this is on my brain. And I did go ahead and pick up the black beans, light red kidney beans, dark red kidney beans, and then the pinto beans. All of these types of beans go in the taco soup for me. And I'm starting to, like I said, stockpile a little bit just to get ready for things. And then black eyed peas, which don't go in that recipe, but they go in a cabbage and sausage recipe that I make a lot. So I went ahead and picked up these three cans. So that is it for my grocery haul. I did spend, like I said, 120 on all of this. It was supposed to be 140 because that is how much I allot for myself for the week, but they were out of pepperoni. The pepperoni that I buy is like the large deli sliced pepperoni, and they were also out raspberries. I did try to pick up about $10 worth of raspberries because my kids love raspberries. They will eat $10 worth of raspberries in like one sitting. So I did have that. That did not go through because they didn't have it on hand. So anyway, that is the grocery haul. Give me just a second to put all of this up and I'll be back with you guys to show you where I'm stockpiling food and kind of what my mission is as far as starting to create a three month pantry stockpile in case of emergency or, you know, 2023. <laughs> Give me one second and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys are seeing me twice lately being a hot mess in the middle of the night. But I wanted to turn the camera around and talk really quickly about why I'm doing this. It's kind of twofold. I want to show you guys that I'm in a small space and show you where I'm organizing things because really I want you to feel inspired to also prep and maybe put away a three month food storage for your own family. And you're going to see I'm sort of making do with every nook and cranny in my house to start this three month prep. The other thing is I really just want to take you guys along this journey of me slowly building my stockpile of food. I'm not starting out with some massive stockpile. I'm not overly prepared in any kind of a way, but I did want to start creating what I'm calling a three month stockpile, just meaning like three months of food that comes from the pantry. In my mind, any stockpile or food that would come after that needs to be a long-term food, like a long-term stored food kind of situation that might be freeze dried, that might be bulk rice and beans, that kind of thing. We will do that later. Let's first focus on our three month prep of just our pantry food stockpile, which is what this is. So we're starting out this journey with me just sharing where I'm stashing food, how I'm stashing food and the kinds of foods that I'm saving. Okay, turning the camera around now. Okay, so I'm starting right outside the kitchen actually and I wanna show you guys, I have this little snack caddy as I call it. I don't think it's meant for snacks, but that's what we use it for. There's candy on top and then next is gummies, fruit pouches, over here is breakfast bar and some more fruit pouches. There's crackers and breakfast bars that we just got, and then chips in those two. And that is little shareable snack size Rice Krispies. This, I have always kept snacks in this caddy, but I love it here in this house because when my kids have play dates, they know and their friends know that this, any of this is fair game. They can come over here and get anything they want. There's also a specific drawer in the fridge for friends. I highly encourage my kids to share snacks and I encourage kids to come get snacks. So I love keeping this full with easy breakfast or snack items for my kids or any of the kids that might visit. And I love keeping it separate from the rest of my pantry. Okay, so that's what's here. This is always just about this full. It's mostly junk and breakfast bars and that kind of thing, like some apples, fruit pouches. And then, like I said, there's a bit, there's like a candy jar on top. I like having this open because whenever it's holidays and you just get all that extra candy, I love it because it gets rid of that holiday candy and everyone else seems to like it too. So that's there. Moving on to the kitchen, there is this little island and I am bringing it to your attention because on the other side is cabinets. I almost called it cabin. <laughs> In this cabinet space, you will see I have like easy breads and starches and things like that. That's where I'm kind of hiding and stashing away those things. The top has honey cornbread. This is a favorite of ours. We only have two of them, so we need to grab a couple of more. Then we have some different muffin mixes and then some brownie mixes. This is my all time favorite brownie mix and it is only a dollar. It's always, woohoo. <laughs> It's always been only a dollar. I guess I'm still hopeful it's only a dollar. Duncan Hines, their chewy fudge brownie mix, one of the cheaper brownie mixes and the best one in my opinion. Then right next to that is beignet mix and then some cinnamon swirl. And then you have some cake mixes and some 
a few other mixes there and then you see the chocolate fudge um like icing for some of the cakes then this is what we a lot of this we just purchased it's that red lobster cheddar mix and then i only t keep three pastas on hand just because it's easier to keep up with what i have we really like fettuccine so we have a bunch of fettuccine pastas uh, my oldest son likes mac and cheese so i keep that for him and then i keep and then I keep these bag pastas just to have another option that's not fettuccine. I don't know, maybe some people care, but to me, there you really shouldn't need that many. And it just makes sense to me to have the fettuccine noodles because it saves so much space. Don't get me wrong, I love real potatoes, but this brand and their, their like instant potatoes is really good. So I like having those on hand. Down here, I just have a container of rice. And then next to that, I have those Vienna sausages that I do not enjoy, but my kids do. And behind that is some tuna. So you, I would say this is just a little section for some like canned meat. That's pretty much the only canned meat that we eat. And then for in the future, this will probably move up here just to save the space. That's like the, the melted cheese. What do you call that? Uh, uh, Velveeta. It's like Velveeta. And then down here is just some like pasta sauces. So that is where I store all of those kinds of like, I'd say instant breads and instant meat, bread and sauce options. The only other place where food is stored in the kitchen space is going to be right here. Ignore the very old cabinets, obviously, but this is the only sugar that I have in the house. <laughs> In this little container I need to get more and I would like to have this whole shelf just full of sugar I would like to have different all-purpose flours and bread flours and things in that middle shelf and then that top shelf might be for like chocolate chip chunks those kinds of things that might go in different breads and muffins and things that I make when I become this like homemakery person that has not happened yet but anyway moving on to the only other thing in the house and the only other place that I have food is over here. Hey, kinnies. Hi, kinny, 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 kinny. They said, give me snacks. Okay, the only, so the only other spot where I will have food and then I do have food is over on this rack. I wanna say this was $80 at Walmart. I had it delivered. This is all that I have for now, but let's just talk about the intentions of what will happen over here as I gain as I grow my food storage. So oils and honeys and sauces and like Parmesan cheese, things like that are just gonna get stored back here. And then extra snacks for the kids, but things that I don't want them to get into yet. For example, these Hershey's cookies and cream is my oldest son's absolute favorite, but I only like to put out so many of them in the snack spot at once or else he will just devour them and he won't have any like a few days later, right? <laughs> So any extra snacks that will be going over there eventually, but there's just no space or I wanna space it out, I'm gonna be hiding kind of up here away from the kids. And then the bread options are up here. I also have bread in my deep freeze. I think I'll do a fridge and a deep freeze tour if you guys are interested in that and how I kind of organize those things. But the bread that I do keep out or the bread options are up there. I'm sorry, you're just gonna have to ignore the guinea pigs because they're going to keep talking while I'm over here. Fruit stays right here and then peanut butter is here. I don't know what's going to be in this middle section yet. Right now it just has hot chocolate mix and then some some oatmeals that my son doesn't like and he's really the only one that eats oatmeal and right now we just have like granola and sunflower seeds. I love putting sunflower seeds on salads so that's something we usually have on hand. And then these are chips, but not like snack chips for the kids, more like chips that we use for dinners. We have like a taco or nacho night. Moving down, this is lower because this is kind of snack things and things that the kids can grab. You can see some cereals over on that side. Soon I'll be buying some more boxes of cereal to place behind it. Again, just kind of stockpiling, but what's in those containers is what they are allowed to open. We have a giant box of pretzels and then oatmeal. Popcorn, which is something we eat a lot of, so I would love to stockpile that. And then graham crackers and Nilla wafers, and then Slim Jims, which is something that my youngest son likes. Moving down, we just have two rows left. This is all of our cans and our beans and our bulk storage of applesauce. I really need, to, I would like to have maybe three rows of this applesauce because we buy the individual applesauce. It's not always affordable though, so like I would like to have a few rows of this applesauce 
Then we do, um, I do like a really easy peach cobbler. So pretty much the only fruit that we eat out of a can is peaches. I highly recommend just buying food that you know you will eat. I have had spurts of buying tons of canned food and it's stuff that we don't even really eat. So like I stick to what I know we're actually going to use. Beans, I love this 15 bean soup. It's something that's usually a lunch for me. My kids don't like it as much, but I do. And then all of these beans we use for the taco soup that we make. Black eyed peas. I eat very often with some of the Southern meals that I make. And then hot dog chili. We have some Bush's baked beans, which again goes with some really Southern meals that I love. And then the Rotel original. I need to get a bunch more of those because those go with our taco and like Mexican meal nights. The only canned food that I eat that's like a canned soup or like some kind of instant meal in a can is this chicken with rice. I really, really, really like the chicken. Do they have it? This is my favorite. They just substituted this at one point, so I have a bunch of those. But the chicken with white and wild rice, it makes a difference. That wild rice is just like crunchier, so it it it's... 10,000 times like the best Campbell's soup that you will get. But again, I know me and I know my family. That is the only soup in a can that we really like. So I would prefer to stock up on a bunch more of just that one type. Last thing, but certainly not least, is water and drinks. You can see I stocked up on three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12. So it looks like right now I have 12 waters. I think I could fit about six more waters right there. I really like Cokes. So we have a large thing of Cokes over here and then my kids like Yoohoo's. So they have a box of Yoohoo's. And as, as we run out of these in the fridge, I just rotate a few in at a time just to save fridge storage room. That is it for this kitchen tour and this little like pantry stockpile that I'm starting to create. If you are creating a pantry stockpile, please comment below things that you are putting the highest priority on right now. Me personally, I'm just trying to buy a few things here and there and bulk up what I am purchasing on a weekly basis. So hopefully by the time we actually need something like this, I'm a little bit more prepared. If you would like to see a fridge and freezer tour and how I'm using that deep freeze and organizing it, please go ahead and let me know that in the comments below. But I think that's it for this video. As always, I love you guys, I appreciate you, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.